Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I do want to, before we get into your reading, I want to uh, let you know that they, there's a bunch of new videos that we're going to be working on. Just want to let you guys know because I know that we haven't been um, uploading a lot of spell work as of lately. It's just that we've been extremely busy um, doing videos for spell work. Uh, is very time consuming, especially when I have so many cases that I'm currently working. So with that being said, I will be working, uh, putting more effort in doing spell work uh, videos for you guys. So that is going to be coming up soon. And yes, we will be uploading a video of how to consecrate and ritualize a heart um, for the previous spell that was uploaded that you guys have been asking about. So with that being said, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021. Now, your first card here is the Emperor card. You have the Prince um, of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, King of Wands, the Tower here, Death card, major transformation. Whoa. Holy moly. Okay. So we pulled out two cards, two more cards. Okay, let's just get into it. Um, all right, so off the bat, I can see that there was uh, some major uproar. There was some type of change, transformation that you've been going through uh, the past couple of months, and this is probably the culmination of it, Cancer, right at the center of the tower. So I feel that this is already something that you either are aware of or has already transpired. Um, now, when we talk about relationships, partnerships, and love, there is a major transformation that's happening, especially for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Uh, they're talking to me about this retrograde um, that we're currently experiencing. Coming out of that, there is a major transformation that you're going to be experiencing cancer. Uh, like I said, especially for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. There is a person that is from the past that will be returning or will be contacting you very soon. Um, now, their intentions is that of trying to restart uh, or pick up on something that wasn't able to fully take flight in the past. Um, however, what they are telling you here is that it's going to be very important to keep in mind um, that anything that has not worked out in the past, do not entertain anything from the past that will be popping up in the next coming weeks. Um, again, like I said, especially because of the retrograde. So again, there is transformation that is unfolding for you guys. And it's almost like the planet alignments are aligning um, in order to bring to, the, to you this major transformation when we're talking about relationships. I do see a new connection that's coming through for you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. Uh, for others of you, I do see Taurus here. I see Virgo as well as Aquarius. Um, but what they're saying here is that there is, there is an there's some type of empowerment that you're currently going through cancer. So if you feel like you're being tested, if you feel like um, you're all in your feels, this is a normal process. Uh, it's almost like you're vetting out the toxic traits uh, that you should have learned in the past moving forward. Um, like I said, I do see a new beginning for you guys. Uh, there is like I said, a lot of healing that you're currently going through. So this could be the reason why you're experiencing a lot of like being on an emotional roller coaster. Um, but what they are saying here is that it's to the benefit and betterment of you because there is transformation that's happening. Um, now, like I said, when we're talking about people from the past, keep in mind, if it is a toxic person that's coming back around, close that chapter. Do not put all your eggs in that basket, okay? Very important to keep it pushing, meaning it's very important for you to embrace these new beginnings, these new opportunities that are coming. Only then are you going to be able to fully release yourself from any past connections, even if you felt like they didn't give you some type of, uh, even if you feel like they didn't give you some type of 
ending, some type of closure. What they're telling you here is don't dwell on that. It's time to move forward so that you can fully be able to embrace what's coming towards you. I see success for a lot of you guys, especially when we're talking about in the love department. There is a new connection, like I said, that's coming through, and it's coming through very, very strongly. And I want to say within the third week of June, beginning of July, you're going to know who this person is. And it's almost like they are coming to you very quick. So this could be a connection that starts... Um, now I don't want to, um, I don't want to scare you guys, but for some of you guys, it's literally almost like the universe is gonna literally bump them into you. So when I say bump them into you, it could be that they accidentally hit your car, um, or you know if you guys are in the same place at the same time, you guys accidentally bump into each other physically. That's how that connection is going to come through because it's coming through very strongly. And I do see for some of you guys, I do see a car. So it could be in some type of connection with a car. For others of you, it's the physical aspect of colliding. So again, when I, when I hear colliding, it's almost like bumping into each other or accidentally stepping on someone, that type of awkwardness energy. Um, but major transformation that's coming through for you guys when we're talking about love and romance. Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, um, there is, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, you may be entertaining the idea of wanting to pull away or wanting to give each other some space. That's if you, if you're not doing that, this could be your partner's energy uh, because they are entertaining uh, the idea with the Nine of Pentacles of becoming single or giving each other some space, some room to breathe. With the Tower card, this is definitely going to change the dynamic. And the Death card could represent transformation um, through an ending. So through some type of cycle that you guys are currently going through. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to be pulling out an Oracle card. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2021. And we have number 26. So this is secrets. This is the unknown. This is hidden knowledge. Um, this is remembrance. This is all to do with, you know, I don't know if you guys seen that, but the, the candle just blew out itself. Um, I feel that you guys are going through this major transformation right now that is on a very spiritual um path uh so again i feel that very highly for you guys especially because we have the wheel here and the tower the death and temperance so we're talking about timing we're talking about destiny for some of you guys you will be meeting uh your soulmate you will be meeting a connection that is from a previous life um you know the book usually represents hidden knowledge um a connection a very deep, strong bond or pull towards someone um, that you've never met in your life, but you feel as if you've met them, if, as if you've known them. So for some of you guys, this is going to be very transformative, uh, a very transformative month. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed this readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.